Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up, I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Sure. Get the lady another of whatever she's having. That's more like it. I hope you stick around. I think we might become good friends. Free booze. The fastest way to your heart. Now, can I get you something to drink? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. 